Hi, I'm Tim Tyler, and this is a video about memes and the upright gate hypothesis, and it's concerned with the idea that culture may have had an important role to play around the time of our split from chimpanzees. So, modern humans have an upright stance and gait, whereas other great apes do not. Fossil evidence suggests that walking upright was one of the first traits to evolve among our ancestors that distinguished our lineage from that of chimpanzees. In my book on memetics, which is out now, I consider the hypothesis that an upright gait started out as a culturally transmitted trait that eventually became partially genetically assimilated into the human genome. Since chimpanzees are now known to have a diverse range of cultural traditions, it seems quite plausible that early humans had a form of culture. An upright gait and stance probably started off as a culturally transmitted phenomenon which was passed down the generations from parent to child. Over time, the human foot, leg, knee bones, pelvis, spine and other organs gradually adjusted to accommodate this new habit via a process of genetic assimilation. The evidence that an upright gait started off as a cultural trait mostly consists of the observation that an upright gait is largely still a culturally transmitted trait even today. Some of the supporting evidence for that comes from feral children and their children who lack culture and so represent miniature natural experiments showing what humans would be like without very much in the way of cultural transmission. I go into that evidence a little in the book, giving the example of the case of Oksana Malana, who lived mostly in a kennel and was raised by dogs. When found, she barked, growled, panted, ran around on all fours and sniffed her at her food before she ate it. From such cases, we can see that both walking and talking behaviours both require cultural transmission to be successfully elicited. There are some rivals to the idea that humans chose to walk upright and transmitted that, that culturally, but they are not very convincing, and for most of human evolution, our ancestors were probably standing upright because they chose to. An upright gait is partially culturally transmitted in modern humans. However, among our early ancestors, cultural inheritance was probably even more important, since organic inheritance would have been even less of a factor. The mimetic upright gait hypothesis is interesting for several reasons. Walking is dated back to close to the split between human and chimpanzee lineages, and that makes walking one of the oldest culturally transmitted traits that we know of, and we can see the scale of its effect on the human genome. Also, if mimetic evolution is implicated in split between us and our nearest living relatives, then we should consider the possibility of links between memes and speciation. In the modern world, memes have brought down many of the reproductive barriers between humans, but it is possible that, among our tribal ancestors, memes had the opposite effect, acting to produce tribal markers for xenophobia to act upon, thereby raising reproductive barriers between people from different tribes. There are cases where parasitism causes speciation in the organic world. Some bacteria can create reproductive isolation in their hosts and thus cause speciation. It has been speculated that cultural influences may have caused speciation in other species. The high diversity among songbird species could well be the result of mimetic evolution generating reproductive barriers between them by influencing mating signals. Vertebrates evolve slowly, but memes can evolve much more quickly, allowing briefer periods of separation to result in reproductive isolation, which could lead to greater speciation rates. Paleoanthropology indicates frequent branching of hominid species historically, which is broadly consistent with regular symbiosis-induced speciation. If memes really are responsible for the split between humans and our nearest living relatives, that makes it even more important that we study them in more depth. Enjoy!